Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. There is a little used, relatively unknown function in Lightroom that comes in very handy. In this video, I'm going to show you what it is and how to use it. Are you like me, you'll work a scene and you will vary your exposures when you're working the scene, kind of trying to find what the sweet spot is. For example, I was working this scene of these uh, rolls of hay and you can see on this one, I exposed it kind of in the middle. In this one, I exposed more for the sky, so it's a little darker. This one's probably even a little more dark and I exposed more for the sky on this one. And this one is probably the same as the last one exposed for the sky and the image is relatively dark. So as I go through all my images, I have this one that I feel is probably properly exposed. Now I'd like to have that same exposure for all of these images. Well, there's a function in Lightroom called match total exposures and to use it, all you need to do is first click on the image that you think has the proper exposure. And one thing I should add, these are all raw files that have no adjustments done to them at all. So they're all, as you can look at the basic tab over here. I'm gonna get rid of this, give us a little more room. As you can see at that basic tab over there, nothing uh, has been adjusted. So what you should do to use this function is click on the image that you think has the proper exposure. And I'm gonna say that this image, in my opinion, has at least more proper exposure than the other three images. Then select the other three afterwards. And to do that on a Mac, hold the command key in. On a PC, hit the control key in. And just click on each of the other images in the film strip. Next, go up to the top settings menu. And this is while you're in the develop module. Go to the settings menu. And you'll see that there's a function down here called match total exposures. And as soon as you click on that, look down at the film strip down here. As soon as I click on that, you'll see that they all get adjusted so that their exposure setting is pretty much equal to that previous image. And you could go through and now see them. And I'll just uh, do a before after, hit the Y key. There's before match total exposures and there's after total exposures. And really all it did is it adjusted the exposure slider on each of these images to give a luminance value that is equal to your original image, the image that you wanted to match the total exposures to. So it's really simple to use. It's really fast. It comes in really handy if you're bracketing exposures or if you're just experimenting uh, using spot metering like I did in this instance, uh, metering off the sky and one for one image, metering off the grass for another image, metering off metering off a hay bale for a third image. It really does help you in post kind of equalize everything. So I hope that taught you something you didn't know about Lightroom. And I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. If you could do me a favor, if you could go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell so you get updates. Also share and like this video and follow me on Instagram. I'll have a link to my Instagram in the description below the video. My Instagram is at Anthony Morganti. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys soon.